I'm Dave, and this is Austin Eats. The other day, I made pork carnitas. Now, while I love pork carnitas, I have to say that seven pounds of carnitas was probably a little too much for two people. I have a lot of leftovers. I'm going to show you some great ideas for using up leftover carnitas. In this video, I'm going to focus on carnitas nachos. They're very easy to make. It's a great way to use up leftover carnitas. And it's a great game day food. And it's right here on Austin Eats. I'm going to start by browning some of the carnitas meat in a little olive oil. Simply put it in a pan and weigh it down. Stir it frequently and it will start to brown. You want it browned on all sides. Now that's looking pretty good. Let's put together some nachos. Preheat some chips in the oven at 300 degrees for 5 to 10 minutes. That'll help warm them up before you load them up with other stuff, because if you don't do that, you're going to have room temperature nachos inside, and that's just not good. For this version, I started out by adding some queso sauce. Not a lot, because you don't want to get the chips too soggy. On top of that, I added some pickled jalapenos. Then black beans out of a can that have been rinsed and on top of that, some black olives. Now it's time for the carnitas meat. This I want nice and thick. I'm gonna load it up wherever I can find room. And then I'm gonna to top this with some shredded cheddar cheese. Once the cheese is on there, this is ready to go into the oven. I baked this at 325 degrees for about eight minutes until the cheese melted and it was warmed through. Top that off with some of my favorite salsa, and then some Mexican crema, or you could use a little watered-down sour cream, and finally some green onions. And it's party time. The nachos were great. This is easy and worth trying, and a great way to use up leftover carnitas. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, let me know, and please subscribe. I've got new videos coming out every week. See you next time on Austin Eats.